Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this rather lovely fairy lantern wish tag. We've got a little bit of dinkling and what else have we got? We've got the fuchsia stamp. I think this fuchsia stamp is gorgeous. It can be used along that side for borders really nicely and from the top. Okay, one of my faves that one and I love the fairy lantern set. Look, they're so delicate and we've got a bit of glitter in there. don't know if you can see it, but just enough to make it have that magical fairy sparkle. I'm rather loving it. I am. Come with me. Let me show you how it's done. OK, so we're going to start off doing a Dinkles background. So I've got my small watercolour card, which I'm spritzing with some water in a spray bottle. And this is a needle tip bottle that has... Yellow Dinkles with Bronze Metallic Mica Minerals and you can see me using the lanterns, the Fairy Lantern set stamps and just placing them where I'm going to pop them so I can see where I want that lovely yellow. Now I've got another bottle of Dinkles ready in the wings but before I do that I'm using the Ranger Heat Tool just to dry off that yellow. And that's fine. So this my friends is again a needle tip bottle and it is Dinkles Blue Dragon and that was um, some sea green as well. Now this is a large blender and I'm just splatting it and pushing it into the card. So I've popped my stamps onto an acrylic board and again it's the Fairy Lantern set and inked it up in Versafine Claire Shady Lane. Just placed it over where the yellow was. So it will give the effect eventually of some sort of light coming out of there and the same goes with the with its opposite number, the other stamp in the set. Lovely. Now this is the fuchsia stamp which I'm inking up in Versafine Claire Shady Lane and I'm going to have it dangling over the top a bit like a fringe. I just love this. So from the balance stamp set, I'm inking up in Versafine Claire Charming Pink. Um, and I'm just popping the word wish. It doesn't look particularly pink. I think that's because I've got a bit of stainage on it. So pink is the way I was going, but it's whatever colour you fancy. And I'm just placing it around. There we go. So now, using my Kuratake Clean Colour Real Brush Pens in the orange tones, start off with the palest one first, and that was yellow first, and then this sort of very light orange, and just dot. Dot and colour in the little spaces. Now I've started off with yellow as a base, and I'm just using that darker orange so just slowly build up your colour in places. Now you can see the darker is going around the outside, the edges. Yeah, so that we get a more three-dimensional appearance. And if you want to try and blend in some of that colour, take the lighter colour and just go over the top. Yeah? I love it. Now I'm doing a couple of lines on the outside of that as if the light was shining out. So crack open your Posca pens. We're going in to do some accents. This is the light, the pale pink. And I'm going to the fuchsia at the top. Give your pen a good shake to make sure that you've got the ink flowing or the acrylic ink flowing. And just doing the top part of that flower. Can you see? And the buds and things just to give us that lovely different texture and a splash of colour. So now this is my sparkly or glittery red Posca and I'm just adding a touch of that near to where the pale pink went on the buds and such like. A couple of dots around the stamens and things. And this is the pale green. I'm just activating it. Give it a good shake. 
which you're obviously not unable to see. It's the apple green Posca pen. And there we go. The ink's come down now. And just go inside the leaf. The stamp does all the work for you. All you do is allow a little bit of a hint of colour inside. So it's almost like the stamp acts as your outline. Yeah, that is the plan. Loves it. Look at that splash of colour. So it's a really positive palette that we're working with. I'm adding some of that lovely apple green on top of the shady lane that we inked up the fairy lantern set in just to give it that again splash of positive colour. Bright and lovely. Ah oh, my friend the <laughs> Posca pen aqua green and just adding a few dots around and I think dots you know they just add a touch of magic, don't they? Look lovely. So we've gone back with some apple green to add some little touches to the leaves at the top of the flowers. And putting some green on the little heart that's above the eye of the wish. Do rather like that. Now let's ground those lanterns, otherwise they're just going to be floating in midair. So this is the very top of the willow stamp. I'm not inking up all of it. I'm literally just using the top, which I think is rather lovely. And I've inked it up in Versafine Clear Warm Breeze and I'm layering it up. You can stamp it first and generation, first generation and second generation. So in other words, stamp it once and then stamp it again without inking up again. Fabulous. So what should we do now? Back with the aqua green, add some more dots. Why not? If in doubt, add more dots. And I'm just taking it from the willow up into the main centre of the picture and again from the fuchsia down. And that leads us back to the centre because the main bit, the main focus should be the fairy lantern set. So adding a touch of darker orange just to some of the edges and then I'll pop it on a spare piece of paper and add some quickie glue. So I'm going to add some glitter to this. So this is all I'm doing, little dots leading up towards the fairy lantern set. Okay. Obviously do as much or as little as you want, but I think just having splots of glitter and I'm just going to pop some Star Brights Eco Glitter. And this is Turkish Delight, which is a lovely pinkish tone, which echoes back into the fuchsias at the top. I'll pop it back into the jar so that we can use it another day. Tap off any excess. Let's see what happens next. We're going to add a frame. Hurrah! So I've got my stencil brush size three and Elements Ink Mermaid and I am literally giving the willow a bit of a background at the bottom and I'm going to extend that up to just the edges of the tag. Now I love doing this because it's like you're really doing a circle on the other piece of card and your brush is just catching the edge of the tag. And it gives it a lovely outline and helps the whatever scene you've got going on in on the tag or card come to life just that little bit. It's almost like it's safe. It's got permission to pop and look stunning. So this is a very light and lovely tag. What are we doing for finishing touches, I hear you ask? Well, good question. Let's see. So I've taken a red Posca pen and I'm just going to add some red to the centre of the fuchsia stamp at the top. And some yellow onto the stamens, those dingly dangly bits that are hanging out of the main flower plant. And some yellow onto, I'm only dotting on the leaves. 
leaves even, and some yellow on the fairy lanterns. Again, only dotting. Little bit of dotage. Lovely. Now we've got that dark frame, you can add some yellow to it just to let it all make sense and belong to each other. Lovely. So, yeah, do love this. And that glitter just gives it that little magical edge. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having the go with me today and making this tag. I know I have. So if you've got any comments that you'd like to leave about this craft, please pop them in the post below and I'll do my best to get back in touch with this, you as soon as I can. So thank you for coming along. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So have great fun. Happy crafting and see you again soon. Bye.